Hello and welcome back to Efficient Oz. Uh, today I'm going to take you through the Effigy Ego, which is basically a, um, a plug that you can plug into the wall and switch on and off using your mobile phone. Additionally, it has all sorts of features that will allow you to monitor how much power you're using um, in that particular circuit. So if you had a power board, you could plug in a bunch of things, see how much power they're using, switch it on and off remotely, and also pre-program the device to uh, switch things on and off whenever you like. So for example, you might switch the uh, um, washing machine on during the daytime if you've got a solar system. You might be away on holiday and want to have the TV come on and off or your lights come on and off so it looks as if someone's home. Um, there's all sorts of uses for the device. Look, this is the box that it comes in. It's a little bit of a big box um, for what it is, but um, look, they want it to, to look good when it's on display, and that's what the plug actually looks like. And it comes like that, and this is obviously the Australian plug, and they've got uh, UK ones as well. No matter where you buy the device from, you can program it into different uh, currencies. Now, what I thought best to do is actually not only show you the plug, because a plug is a plug, but actually the software and how it works. This is the uh, mobile application that you can download. It works for iOS, it works for Android. Um, we downloaded it. it's a very, very small file, so it doesn't take long at all to actually um, download and to install. Um, it took me no time at all to actually get the device going. Uh, there's a little bit of um, playing around with uh, the actual setup in the first place um, to make sure that it's connected to the Wi-Fi network, but uh, I'll show you that right now. So what I'm doing first is as soon as you open it up, it asks you for your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to plug that all in, um, press connect, and then it's going to connect everything up. Now, for me, that hasn't worked 100% of the time, but what they've done is they've designed an alternate option. So there's a little AP button in the top right. Click that, and what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold the little Wi-Fi uh, button on the plug itself. When it's flashing at you, you press OK. Um, and then what it'll do is it'll actually recognize it itself and, and somehow through the wonders of, uh, of technology, figure it all out and connect it. Now my device uh, needs a firmware update, really simple to do. We press OK, we go through, um, press in the middle of the screen, great. And now what it's going to do is it's going to actually update the firmware to the latest version, which is uh, version 30 at this particular stage. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the appliance, so we're going to give it a name. So for this one, we're going to call it a washing machine. Uh, you could have it for a TV, for your lights, for a security system, whatever it is you might do. Your uh, sprinklers as well that are outside, and then you're going to say where it is. So you might have a whole setup which is in the home, a whole setup which is in the office. And what we'll do at this stage, we'll actually set it up. So we can change the currency, or we can say how much we're actually paying for our power. I've put in 28 cents there. I'm going to switch the appliance on. And then what we're going to see is we're going to see the power consumption, how many kilowatt hours it's using, how much it's actually costing you, um, a historical graph on there. We can also set up a timer so we can switch the device on and off. Uh, we can schedule it. We can have a random timer so for your lights and that sort of thing. Um, and you can see here so we can have times on and times off. So you might, we might want to switch on the TV when we're away or set up the dishwasher. We can also learn standby devices. So therefore, um, we can figure out uh, if we've got the TV on, and if it's uh, not getting used, then, then we'll actually learn from that. And then we can actually see how it's working again. And lastly, there's other bits and pieces that you can actually configure. Um, and we go through here. We can put uh, devices into groups. Um, so therefore, we might have a living room. We might have a, a laundry room. We might have whatever else it is. Um, and then we can also compare how much power different devices are using throughout the day. So that's a summary of the uh, Effigy Go.